Hey guys, happy Sunday. Well, today is Sunday. I don't know if I'll be filming or uploading on this day, but happy Sunday. Today I'm going to be filming the mozzarella sticks or how to do your own mozzarella sticks at home video for you. Um, I'm going to try to do like every Sunday tape um, some like recipes and like cooking kind of deals for you mommies or even if you live by yourself and you enjoy cooking, um, I'm going to share some of those things with you because some of you seem interested um, and those of you who don't, just you know, skip over it. So we're going to get right into the mozzarella sticks. I'm going to take you to my kitchen. So let's go. Hey guys, so welcome to my kitchen. Behind me is my husband, just looking for him. This is real deal life. I am really making these mozzarella sticks for tonight and he's really washing the dishes. So just ignore that. That'll be off in a minute. So what you're gonna need is eggs. I have four eggs here. Doesn't matter if they're large or extra large. You're gonna need mozzarella. I use real deal mozzarella. You can use the pull apart mozzarella cheese, like the string cheese. I just am afraid like once you dry it or dry it, once you fry it, it it's gonna be like coagulated or not stringy enough so I use the real mozzarella cheese just to make sure that it tastes the taste is right when it's fried then you're also going to need some breadcrumbs I use Italian style breadcrumbs because these are flavored and it helps with the flavor of your mozzarella sticks so first I'm going to take my this is a paper plate I'm just going to put some breadcrumbs on the paper plate which I've already done but I'm actually going to add a little bit more. You want a generous amount of breadcrumbs for your mozzarella stick. Then on my cutting board, I'm just going to move this aside so you guys can see. I'm going to open up my mozzarella cheese. And I've used this mozzarella cheese already. It doesn't matter. You can do this part um, the way that you prefer. I'm going to do them a little thick, not too thick, and not too long either. So, I'm just going to cut them like that. That's the thickness that I went for. And then I'm going to cut them in threes. So, one, two, three. So, as you see, I have three separate pieces of cheese. Now I'm going to go ahead and cut the cheese in half because these are obviously too long. And that's the size of our mozzarella. Now you can make as many as you like. I'm just going to repeat this step a few times because I have five people in my family. So six mozzarella sticks just isn't going to cut it. So I'm just going to actually finish off this mozzarella cheese. take our eggs that you have prepped and in any bowl or dish I have this dish here because it's just easier for me to dunk the mozzarella sticks in I'm just going to crack a few eggs in there now we're just going to beat the eggs Now we're going to create a quick process. We're going to take our mozzarella stick, dunk it in the egg wash, and then we're going to roll it into the breadcrumbs and then place it on our clean uh, paper plate. And I'm just going to use a fork because this gets messy. I'm just going to dunk it in. And then put it in here and just roll it around.
breadcrumbing and everything, we're going to place these babies in the freezer for three hours. This is really, really important because this is going to, this is going to make or break your mozzarella sticks. If they're not in the freezer for three hours, they are going, you're going to have a mozzarella mess once you try to fry these. So three hours, make sure they're super firm and then you can go ahead and put them in the hot scorching hot oil not lukewarm hot that thing needs to be like popping everywhere so we're gonna put these in my freezer so come on the freezer's a little packed so we're gonna go in here and we're just gonna put them right on top also if you need two tiers just make sure you separate them with wax paper you don't want to put mozzarella sticks on top of each other because when you try to peel them apart once they're frozen you're going to remove the breadcrumbs so wax paper in the freezer three hours <laughs> 